All right, good morning and welcome everybody. Um, today we're standing here to eradicate gun violence. Before I start, I just want to acknowledge our Attorney General, Rob Bonta, to be as here. His wife, who's also here, right? Mia Bonta. Good to have you, sis. Brady's campaign, Moms Demand Action, Every Town. All the United Players, our community, our 120-year history of Filipinos in this neighborhood of South the Market, all my United Players, and all the gentlemen that has came home from prison that's a part of this eradicating gun violence. There's a lot of gun violence that's currently going on all over the country, and in particular in the city, the Bay Area. And one of the things that we were able to do with all our partners were rob it's to do these gun buybacks where we destroy guns. We have got thousands of guns off the streets that we destroy. And so, I want to thank all our partners for being here to make sure that we end senseless gun violence. You're going to hear a lot of stories, but thank you guys for the media being here to show and demonstrate that we are doing something about it. So, without said, I want to bring up our Attorney General, my brother, like no other, Rob Bonta. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Rudy, for your leadership and your partnership over many, many years addressing gun violence in its many forms here in San Francisco and throughout the state. And I'm honored to be here once again for today's very important announcement around how we are continuing to combat gun violence and make our communities and our neighborhoods safer. And preventing gun violence is all about partnership. And in that spirit, I want to thank our partners here today. And there are many. And we have a powerful and strong coalition I'm very proud of. Thank you again, Rudy Corpuz at United Playas for opening your doors for us this afternoon, for your ongoing leadership and work in this space. Thank you to the leaders on my left and my right, many of who have been personally touched uh, by the tragic realities of gun violence. Thank you to Maddie Scott, who I've had um, the pleasure of spending time with in the past, and her very powerful voice, President of Brady United California. Thank you to Assemblymember Mia Bonta for being the origin and the genesis of this important idea that we're announcing today. Thank you to Claire Sanchina from Moms Demand Action, as well as Laura Cataletta, Managing Director, Giffords Law Center. We're all on the same page. We're all working hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder today. Uh, for this important announcement. I also want to say thank you to my team at DOJ who made today's announcement possible. I want to thank especially um, acknowledge the work of our Bureau of Firearms. Uh, these are dedicated women and men who spend each and every day ensuring compliance with California's firearms laws. You may not know their names, they may not know yours, but I guarantee you they have made you safer. We stand together here in common cause, united to end gun violence, because in the United States of America, it is unacceptable that on average, uh, on an average day, over 320 people are shot. Over 110 are killed. The leading cause of death for children in America, you might ask, it is gun violence. In fact, by the time this press conference is over and the cameras are headed to the next story, Statistically, another child will be shot, gravely injured, if not worse. Even here in California, the nation's gun safety leader, we are not immune to this sick disease. In the last year alone, we've seen a mass shooting at a church in Laguna Woods. We've seen a mass murder committed during a shooting at a bar in Sacramento, a mother savagely gunned down in Oakland's Little Saigon. When is enough going to be enough? When is the violence going to end? We're here to help answer that question. We are in a full-on crisis, a full-on state of emergency. And in order to fight this epidemic, it's going to take new efforts, creative approaches, and new action. That's why we're here today. With these incredible and powerful gun safety leaders by my side, I'm proud to launch the California Department of Justice's Office of Gun Violence Prevention, a new statewide office dedicated to implementing data backed public safety strategies and working with stakeholders across the state to address the gun violence epidemic at its roots. 
this innovative new office, the first of its kind, not just in the state, but in the nation, will complement our existing robust efforts in the Bureau of Firearms, working to reduce and prevent gun violence and trauma by providing centralized state support to implement strategic and innovative programs. Specifically, this new office will examine a broad range of factors to prevent gun violence from firearm availability to effective resources for crisis prevention, reduce gun violence by promoting research and data collection. We believe that evidence-based approaches and data-driven approaches are effective approaches. Increase awareness about effective legal and policy strategies, some things that are working in places like San Diego, like gun violence restraining orders, but are not yet benefiting uh, the neighborhoods and communities in other parts of the state. We will collaborate with federal, state, and local partners. This moment, this crisis deserves all of us working together, getting out of our silos, reaching out uh, to one another, partnering on behalf of our communities. In short, we're going to save lives. We are going to make California safer. We're going to make our communities healthier. California has long been the nation's leader in effectively preventing gun violence, with one of the lowest rates of gun deaths in the country. But that's not a bragging point until every act of senseless gun violence is prevented. That's where the Office of Gun Violence Prevention comes into play, from increasing training, public awareness, to initiatives to foster increased cooperation between courts and law enforcement. The Office of Gun Violence Prevention will serve as the hub for best practices and a valuable resource for law enforcement agencies, cities, and counties, and nonprofit partners as we help them implement life-saving tools. From gun violence restraining orders to proven prevention programs like Operation Peacekeeper. Today is day one, and as we get started, we need the public's help. Today we're announcing a nationwide search for the office's first director. Leaders in the gun violence prevention space, join our fight at DOJ. You can apply by visiting the office's new website, oag.ca.gov slash prevent gun violence which we are also launching today. So I think it's going live right after the press conference. It'll have information and resources for the public and for partners. This is a moment of crisis in America. And this crisis demands more than thoughts and prayers. It demands action and it demands action now and we are delivering. The Office of Gun Violence Prevention is an office of action. By launching it today, we are taking the next step to end gun violence, and I'm confident we're saving lives and confident this undertaking is just the beginning. So I'm excited about today. I appreciate the collaborative spirit and the partnership that got us to this day. And with that, I want to say thank you and am honored to introduce our next speaker, Maddie Scott, President, Brady United, California. Maddie. Thank you so much. Um, Attorney General Bonto. Uh, my name is Maddie Scott, and I am the mother of George C. Scott. My son was gunned down um, July 17, 1996, um, while stopping an altercation at a graduation party. He was 24 years old, father of two young men, young boys. Um, he was shot and killed with a semi-automatic assault weapon. And that was 26 years ago, 26 years ago. Over this weekend in San Francisco alone, we have lost two young men in my neighborhood in Western Addition to gun violence, age 20 and under. We lost two mothers in Bayview Hunters Point while attending a vigil over the Labor Day weekend. So. This epidemic has paralyzed all of us. It has gotten out of control and is out of hand. Attorney General Bonto, I just want to applaud you and thank you for moving forward, for hearing our cries, for listening to our voices, for keeping your doors open to the cry as we move forward um, to prevent gun violence. I am honored to be here standing representing my organization, Healing for Our Families in Our Nation, and Brady United Against Gun Violence as the California president and the Mothers in Charge chapter leader.
that's a nationwide movement of mothers who've lost children to senseless gun violence. This is precedent. This is amazing that we finally get to do something about gun violence prevention. Someone has now opened the, the, their eyes to the call of gun violence in our country. California is leading when it comes to legislation. We just signed the ghost gun bill. Our mayor, London Breed, was the first mayor to do that. Um, we're just doing great things. We have the school memo project that we've done. We're doing wonderful, amazing things in California. So we must continue to lead together. We must continue to stand together with Moms and Man Action, with United Players and Rudy, Cor Rudy Corpus, with Sean Richardson, Brothers Against Guns, and our mayor and our leaders. And we're so grateful to our president and our vice president for the bipartisan uh, bill that was just passed on demanding um, action against assault, automatic assault weapons in Washington, D.C. It was an honor to be there, and it's an honor to be here today with you, our leader, our attorney general, and hopefully other around the nation will do the same because this is about all of us or none of us. Our children should not have to go to school hiding under desks and having school drills. School is for learning and for fun and education. We shouldn't have to go to shopping malls looking over our shoulders of movie theaters or be in a church service worrying about someone coming in in your prayer meeting shooting you. This is not acceptable. This is not the United States that we're used to. We must turn it around, you all. We must turn it around, and we can do it because this is about all of us and none of us. Every, every time I hear of a mother losing her son or someone losing their mother to domestic violence because of a gun, it rattles my soul. It rattles my soul. And so I know we can do this together with your leadership, with our governor, Gavin Newsom, who has signed so many bills, so many bills, and so, moved so much legislation in gun violence prevention. So we're on the right course. We're on the right track. We have the right people. We have the right leadership. We have all of you that are here today all of you. So in memory of all of our families who've lost loved ones to gun violence, and for those lives that have been recently lost, we ask you to join us on this Sunday for the Congressional National Day of Remembrance, to remember all those who were lost to violence in this nation. It is a Congressional Day on this Sunday, and we ask you to join us in honor of today and this day. We're in it to win it. We're in it to win it, and together we can. We must stop the killing and start the healing. I want to go to graduations. I don't want to go to funerals. I'm tired of funerals. It's time for us to go to graduations and get our kids educated and get the guns out of the wrong hands and to move this agenda across our nation, not just here in California, but across our nation. Let's move it in the voting booths. Let's tell our leaders, if you want our vote, then you're going to have to show up show up and make all of our lives safe with this with this new law that um this new legislation that um attorney general bondo have put forth we want this to go around the country so all of our leaders out there who are listening please take heed take heed take heed because we're going to take action we're about action action speaks louder than words and we're going to take that action in the voting booths and together. Thank you. Next, we have Assembly Member Mia Bonta. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Assembly Member Mia Bonta, and I represent the people of the 18th District, which includes Oakland, Alameda, San Leandro. And I stand here today in solidarity with all of the victims and survivors that have been impacted by the epidemic of gun violence. This year, we have witnessed over 300 mass shootings across the country. This includes the massacre of teachers and children in Uvalde, Texas, the targeted killings of black people in Buffalo, New York, a mass shooting just a few blocks from the Capitol in Sacramento, and the almost daily killings and injuries of people, including in my own district. Just yesterday, in fact, 
two people were shot blocks away from my district office, right near City Hall. And this incident followed three fatal shootings on Monday evening. Each of these tragedies sits heavy on my heart. I mourn with the families and ask the same question they do. How many deaths will it take for us to take action? Wide collaborative action to end gun violence. Now, let's be clear. Gun violence is a public health crisis, an epidemic that we are plagued with here in the nation and even in the state of California for far too long. And as a public health crisis, we need an urgent and health-based approach to ensure that our communities, our people, our constituents have the resources available to them to uplift them and deal with the root causes related to gun violence. This is something I have committed to working on and I recommit to you every day. And as a member of the Assembly Public Safety Committee and the Gun Violence Prevention Working Group in the California State Legislature, I am deeply committed to preventing gun violence for the years to come. This year, I introduced AB 2253 as part of the commitment to end gun violence. AB 2253 would have established the Office of Gun Violence Prevention within the Department of Justice to address gun violence as a public health crisis and would have developed a strategy for incorporating a public health approach to address gun violence. This legislation served as a catalyst for the ultimate creation of this office within the Department of Justice. And the Attorney General is ready to recognize the importance of establishing the Office of Gun Violence Prevention. I thank the Attorney General for this, my partner in life and partner in service, and look forward to the collaboration that will come from this. I also want to acknowledge the organizations including Moms Demand Action, the Brady Campaign, Giffords Law, Every Town, and right here where we stand, United Players, that have stepped up the, to the plate and have committed to finding solutions to eventually eradicate gun violence from our communities. And I want to send out a special shout out to Efrain Botello Cisneros. He was a fellow in my office who was my lead on this bill and poured his heart and soul into this issue and was the heart and soul behind creating this Office of Gun Violence Prevention because I know it's as important to him as it is to us and our constituents. As representatives, we use the legislative process to introduce solutions to critical problems. It's for our constituents and in California. In this is instance, the Attorney General was the one who answered the call. I wanna thank you for your time and for the advocates who work tirelessly every day, for the victims and survivors who are here with us today. And I wanna also thank the Attorney General for recognizing how important this issue is to me, our constituents, to California, and convening us for this very important announcement. I wanna now introduce a very brave mother and advocate, Claire Sencha, uh, here with her, he, her son, is the inspiration behind this beautiful mural we stand behind. Thank you. Um, my name is Claire Sencha. And as my son Camilo loved to say to me, I'm a transplant. I was a transplant to San Francisco about 40 years ago. And Camilo was a native. He was born and raised in San Francisco. And eight years ago, he was killed when he was out celebrating his completion of paramedic school the day prior. His plan was to work for the San Francisco Fire Department. And finally, I needed to leave the city because it was not that I didn't love it anymore like he did, but it was too painful to walk by the schools he went to, the playgrounds he played in every weekend. And on leaving the city, I wanted to leave a mural behind of his, tipping his hat, his San Francisco Giants hat. Um, he loved the teams here. He was the biggest fan. And so I mentioned it to Alex Navarro, who's a Moms Demand Action City Outreach Lead, and her and Rudy got together and they planned this mural. It ends up, it's being painted by a childhood friend of Camilo, Eli Lippert, who's a muralist. And this honor, this mural is to honor Camilo and all those killed by senseless gun violence and all, all those who work 
to prevent gun violence. And this spot has become where we have all our gun violence prevention events, which is very meaningful. It's amazing. And I'm really looking forward to the gun buyback here this year with the United Players. You may wonder why us survivors come up and speak. And I just want to repeat what a Uvalde mom said this year after testifying in Congress. Somewhere out there, there's a mom listening to our testimony, thinking, I can't even imagine their pain. Not knowing our reality may one be day be hers, unless we act now. Gun violence is a public health crisis, and there's more we can do to save lives in California. The launch of the Office of Gun Violence Prevention is an important step forward for our state. And we are proud to stand alongside Attorney General Bonta as he works to make California a safer place to live. Thank you. And next we'll have Laura Cataletta from Giffords Law. Thank you so much, Attorney General Bonta, for inviting me to speak today. I'm the managing director of Giffords Law Center to prevent gun violence. We were started after a terrible shooting at a law firm at 101 California Street here in San Francisco. In 2016, we joined forces with the organization founded by Gabby Giffords. Gabby is a former Arizona Congresswoman who tragically was shot in the head while she was meeting with constituents in her hometown of Tucson, Arizona. She was um, badly injured, but she embarked on a courageous journey of rehabilitation, and she now leads our efforts to fight gun violence across the country. California has been at the forefront of gun safety reform for decades and doubled down on that commitment this year with a package of gun bills that were passed, which the Assemblywoman mentioned and others have mentioned. Um, for example, a measure promoting firearms industry responsibility, the establishment of the nation's largest court-based firearms relinquishment program, which will help ensure that the subjects of domestic violence and gun violence restraining orders actually relinquish the, rep the weapons that they have been ordered to relinquish and that they do so in a safe and prompt manner. Um, stopping firearms in um, advertising to minors, regulating and reforming the ghost gun um, industry. And in addition, a longtime priority of ours has been to expand California's investment in community-based intervention programs. These are programs that work to break the cycle of violence, injury, and trauma, and prevent future shootings. That's why we're so proud of the progress California has made in recent years, and in particular this year, um, launching a new Medicaid violence prevention and trauma recovery program. But to achieve the life-saving potential of all of these many innovative programs California has to offer, we need coordinated expert leadership and a statewide office that is de dedicated to breaking down silos between departments um, and, between, and over borders, cutting through red tape, and helping communities implement these new resources to stop gun violence. That's why we are so grateful to the Attorney General for creating this Office of Gun Violence Prevention. Giffords has been at the forefront of this fight for a long time, and we're not backing down. We need to keep the momentum going, and we need more leaders like Attorney General Bonta, who has taken an important step today to proactively strengthen California's efforts to stop gun violence. We applaud the creation of this office and look forward to working with the Attorney General to keep families safe. Thank you. Hey, so real quick, I wanna say thank you guys for coming through and showing up. If you guys look, you guys are really in the community. Y'all here, cars beeping, you got pigeons flying in. This is for real, you guys. I wanna acknowledge Honey Mahogany, who's back here. You wanna raise your hand for showing up, coming out. But like Maddie Scott said, it's all of us or none of us. You hear all this tragic that's going on, but you have people fighting the good fight. We standing here united together. Every town, moms demand action with Alex. Where's Alex at? Yeah. yeah. The Brady campaign. And we have Maddie Scott's mom who's here, 100 years old, standing. We still here, you guys. And so I want to thank Mia Bonta and Rob Bonta, our attorney general, for coming here in the hood. Y'all know this is for real. 
because we care. So with that, I'm going to bring up our Attorney General, Rob Bonta. Thanks again, Rudy, and 